Hello y'all, welcome to Yakety Mac. This is a special golf edition. So the coolest thing that I have bought in the last two years, well that would be my kayak. But the second coolest thing I have bought, I gotta show this to you guys. If you're a golfer and you like to walk or you've ever even thought about walking, you're like, hey man, that'd be some good exercise, but I don't wanna push a cart all over the place. Well then you're gonna love this. So there it is guys, the V2 Club Booster E-Wheels from Alfred Golf. The V stands for version two. They made a version one, this is version two, has a gyro feature on it to help keep the cart straight when you're going down the fairway or whatever. Uh, it is remote controlled, and I'm gonna show you how it hooks up here in a second, and uh, we'll give it a test. But it also comes with a removable battery here. You pull this tab, pull it out, and you can recharge the battery. You can charge the battery on its own or inside the unit. I charge the battery on its own because I separate it when I'm done playing a round of golf. But this right here comes with brackets that you will convert most of the popular uh, push trolleys on the market into electric trolleys. And it is fantastic. I okay guys, I have the Click Gear 4.0 push trolley model. And I'm gonna pan out here so that you can see. Gone are the back wheels. Instead, they will come with these clamps that you will take the back wheels off and you will bolt these clamps into the existing holes that are already there and you'll get one for each side and those are going to clamp down on the wheel and now you'll notice here on the front i also bought this conversion kit they call it a swivel kit truth of the matter is, is it actually just turns left or right as you know the click gear carts or you may not know the click gear cart come with a um, a stationary single front wheel you will take that wheel off and apply this conversion kit if you choose to do so. Now I bought that about six months after I had the e-wheels uh, and I did so simply because the stationary wheel didn't turn all that great. Look, it was usable, it was fine, but I didn't like the way it turned uh, and it got, out of, uh, it got out of alignment some. It didn't hurt anything really. It just wasn't smooth and it chewed up a little bit more battery power. This conversion kit right here with these wheels, that sure makes it turn a lot easier and it chews up less battery. So let me put the wheels on and show this thing to you guys. All right, so we're just gonna come and use the carrying handle, pick this up. Set it down pull out the wheels lift the cart up set it there on the uh, on the axle and then we are going to clamp this side down we're going to clamp this side down we're going to power it on and now it's ready to roll I forgot to show you this feature right here. Once you put your wheels on, you pull this little bar up and lock it into place. Same with this one over here, lock that into place. And this comes with some wheelie bars. And you just simply pop the wheelie bars in like this. Push the little button down, pop it in like that. And there they go. So if you're going up a hill or something like that, this will definitely help to keep the cart from tilting backwards. Um, I've had to do it a few times, actually several times, uh, and it does a really nice job of catching the cart and keeping it from tipping too far backwards. All right, let's see how this thing operates. Okay, this here is the remote for it. You can see you have forward here, you've got reverse, right, left, there's a stop button. Over here is a button for your gyro, and this here is a lock button. If you press the lock button, uh, it will not operate until you unlock it. And then over here on the left, you've got two buttons, one with a 15 and one with a 30. That is how far away the, the unit will get from you before it stops. So once, if you choose 15, once the unit gets 15 yards away from the remote, it will stop. Or you can choose 30. Once it gets up to 30 yards away from you, it will stop. And so let me show you how this works. It's very simple, guys. Pretty simple remote control. Here we're going in forward. Stop. Let's come backwards. Stop. Let's turn left. 
we'll just make us a loop right here stop and that's pretty simple guys this thing is absolutely fantastic I'm going to show you some footage out on the course it'll go up hills it'll stop itself it applies brakes going downhill it adjusts its speed when it's going downhill I, I can't wait to show you this out on the course just so you can see how good it actually works That's a pretty cool little setup, huh? So now, guys, I know you're wondering about cost, and they're not cheap, but neither is a golf cart fee. And so depending on how often you play and how often you ride in a cart, uh, it'll pay for itself in pretty short order. Currently, right now, what I just showed you uh, was $740, right? Seven, so let's just call it $750. Again, that's not cheap, but depending on how many times you play golf, let's say you play golf seven months out of the year, you golf once a week and you ride in a cart and let's say that's 20 bucks. You know, so what is that? By the end of the year or by the end of those seven months at $40 uh, uh, or $80, I'm sorry. No, 20, 40, so yeah, $80, seven months. <laughs> There's the math. You're talking about 560 at the end of one golf season just in cart fees. If you really love golf and you're even looking at something like this, chances are you play more than that. And so this will pay for itself in, uh, in a year or less, uh, easily, guys. And I've had it now for just a little over two years. I can get 27 holes on a battery charge, although I only typically play 18, but the course I play at, I, get 20, I can get 27 holes. My buddy that I play with, he has the Rovic, which has the true swivel wheel on the front of it. He can easily get 27. His doesn't chew up as much battery. That's a lighter cart, and of course that swivel wheel, I mean, he can do a 360 uh, just like that. Now, the downside to that is, is that it's not as stable as what I showed you here on mine. Uh, he, I've seen his hit, you know, like a, a, a pothole or something that where, you know, a, a sprinkler head might be a pretty deep one, not just your average rut, but a, a fairly deep rut. And I've seen it tip over a couple of times on him. So, uh, but that's with any three wheel cart, you're going to have a little bit of those stability issues. Um, and so going with something like this, man, I've, uh, take it over big tree roots and so on and so forth and and no issues at all it's never even come close to tipping that click gear is not going to tip i mean you'd have to knock it over guys or it would have to be sideways on a very very steep hill something like that but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this i hope you'll consider this i wish more people would walk it certainly is less wear and tear on the golf course uh, and it's certainly better for us all to get out there and exercise the only time I ride a cart now is if it is dangerous heat. Uh, and that's maybe only three or four times a year that I'll even do that. I try to get out early enough to play before the dangerous heat really becomes a factor. Walking is the way this game is meant to be played, in my opinion. Have at it, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and hey, get out and hit them.